Okay, this is called The Big Bang. Bit of trombone to start off with, eh? Two, three, four. They say there was a big bang, what started everything? An almighty explosion, a very funny thing. Cause there wasn't any gases then, and there wasn't any air. There wasn't even any space, and nobody was there. They say that over eons of time we have become, and the fine beings we are today all started out as scum. Somewhere, way back when in those, we crawled out of the mud and became such perfect humans with the protoplasmic crud. You're having a laugh, mate. You're putting me there. You must be. Now I'm on your bike. We've climbed from age to humans, and though there's nothing in between, we're on the brink of that missing link that no one's ever seen. It's always just eluding us, it's never far away, and we're going to find it tomorrow if we don't find it today. We tell the world we'll find it, when in actual fact we can't, but we have to tell them something or they'll take away our grant. We know this theory's full of holes and Darwin knew too, but money makes the world go round, so what else can we do? We're never the love, mate! Very expensive one. All the way to the bank. A world with no real purpose. An accident, they say. Though mathematically impossible, it just happened that way. And it's taught in schools and colleges as if it is a fact. When it's just another theory. And it's so far from intact. With the scientific blinkers on, heads under the sand. Test tubes up their asses, they'll never understand. Up pops another theory, could be any pack of lies. And some ambitious whippersnapper takes away the Nobel Prize. They're having a laugh, mate. They're pulling your leg. Because they are all together. got no soul because you can't find your own. What about the animation, eh? Is that only skin and bone? Do you really think that matter flung together in a pot can churn out conscious beings if you stir it up a lot? I mean, really? And have you never seen a woman? Because when I see a woman, I believe in God. What do you reckon, guys? Yeah, you have to say that, otherwise you're finished, aren't you? <laughs> Have you never seen a woman? Do you think a fault like this happened by some random accident? Are you taking the piss? I mean, have a look around you. Everything's in perfect place. Every nook and every cranny, from a nipples to a fanny to the dimples on her face. And Reproductive system, what a wonder, what a joy Every time a perfect replica, a little girl, a little boy Now you show me a machine what can reproduce like that One with a life, one of its own And I'll eat my flaming act, you're having a dog, mate <laughs> told me that our TV appeared without a warning. Said you the big bang when he went to bed. And there it was in the morning. Frank spanking you in the front room with the latest widescreen glass. But mum says he fell off the back of the lorry. Dad's taking out of his own. <laughs> of course somebody made it. You don't get perfect systems out of big bangs. Not not Larry. <laughs> Was it that made that little spark bringing consciousness to matter and filling up Noah's Ark? It makes more sense to me to believe in a creator 
the non-nipotent being, the perfect animator, breathing in the breath of life, the primal stimulation, when matter and spirit mingled at the dawning of creation, and I reckon he's done a blinded job, worthy of our applause, cause nothing exists in this week in effect that doesn't exist in the cause, so God must be amazing, if only we could see, he can't just be some blinded light, he's got personality, and humour, and character, and every other attribute, and I reckon he laughs a lot, and he's not playing his flute, especially these scientific theories, that mean, he's having a laugh mate! Oh, bending tall, you know. 